and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for a special Christmas stream edition. We got four decks today. Uh, we're going to start with Mardu Kalia, the deck that we didn't have time for yesterday. You may have noticed this was on the docket for yesterday, but we ran out of time, so we're going to start with it here today. This is um, Historic, and, um, and it's an Angel deck, which makes sense on Christmas having an, an Angel deck. Um, so that, that uh, fits the theme for sure. Um, there are also Demons and Dragons in our deck, but we'll just kind of ignore that for a little bit. Anyway, I think Mindstone is a huge addition to this deck whenever you have a higher curve, even though we have a lot of things that cost three, and you may think, well, Mindstone ramping into three isn't that big of a deal. It, it matters for, like, on turn five. Maybe you can start double spelling because you have six mana already on turn five. And with our mana base having a lot of shock lands, um, maybe we can, you know, play a three drop and still be able to play a tapped land in with like a shock land and, and it kind of smooths out our mana. So I really like having Mindstone. You can see we got main deck Clarions. There's a lot of aggro in the format, even though Clarion doesn't necessarily work that well with a, a three, three like Kalia or a three, three like Resplendent Angel. That's not great with Clarion, but we can also use Clarion to give our creatures lifelink, which could be nice with a card like Resplendent Angel. Um, but yeah, like, you know, like we're trying to just have early removal with those. We got, um, we got a couple of adventure creatures in here with Murderous Rider, Bonecrusher Giant. Um, basically I just thought Bonecrusher Giant was better than playing other two mana removal spells like Cast Down or Lava Coil, um, or other options like that, Moment of Craving, because of its versatility. And, um, you know, it's just a really strong card. And then same thing, I kind of thought Murderous Rider was better than Bedevil. Again, just has that versatility. Uh, so we got those in here, um, and uh, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of what our deck's all about. Of course, of course, our deck is built around Kalia. If you don't know this Zena Seeker, whenever Kalia ETBs, you look at the top six cards of your library. You can reveal an angel and a demon and or a dragon, and put them into your hand. So you could put three cards into your hand if you reveal an angel, a demon, and a dragon. But you only get one angel. Um, so like we have lots of angels, so we should hopefully hit angels with that, but we may get lucky and hit a demon like embodiment of agonies or doom whisper to put into our hand or a dragon, which is what Skargan Hellkite is. Um, but yeah, this deck looks pretty awesome. We're hopefully going to be pretty good against aggro with having the Lyra Dawnbringers and the Clarions and, you know, like even resplendent angel Shalai, you know, like hopefully we're going to be pretty good against aggro there. Uh, but then, uh, I think Esper control is going to be tough especially game one and so i have a lot against esper control i think command the dread horde could give me ways to like get their planeswalkers and my stuff back in a late game i'm going to try a thought distortion against esper some arenas to draw more cards um, then some planeswalker removal with grasp and elder spell and of course duress so let's give us a try so with historic the way to play best two out of three is ranked so that's what we're going to be doing we're going to traditional historic ranked and let's um, get some angel games here. Need to add Charming Prince. Well, no black mana, but I don't know. We got Resplendent into Shalai. That's reasonable. Dinos can hit really hard. Ooh, pretty fortunate that that's all they had. And nothing else. Um... I need to kill one of these. I kind of want to kill Huntmaster. Even though Raptor attacks harder. Because Huntmaster gives him haste. Hey, Lord of Dooms. Merry Christmas. 
All right, so do I want to play Embodiment or Resplendent Angel? Probably Resplendent. The Mind Stone's critical because now we're only one mana away from being able to um, activate Resplendent Angel. Hmm. Not able to do that. I don't even have the two black mana for embodiment anyway. Yeah, I can do that. Yep, I'll I'll start it. Um, all right. There's there's a Discord room now for for y'all for holiday and Christmas pictures. <clears throat> well, I kind of need July alive so that then I could have played Soar and attack for six lifelink. That was not a good turn for me. I really just want to play this Embodiment of Agonies, but we don't have two black. Um... just really awkward everything in our hand was just really awkward all right so we get to um kind of change up our deck a little bit here to help out against a bunch of dinosaurs i guess i don't have a lot of great removal we have you know the two noxious grass and the legion's end i really like legion's end in this matchup their two mana creatures are very important I'm not sure what to think of Clarion, though. I guess Clarion does kill the two mana creatures, and it can give my creatures lifelink. Really, it doesn't block well at all. I think it's either Aurelia or Shalai, I think. Because Shalai doesn't block well either. Thanks, Azeroth. All right, I'll take out Shalai.
Okay, well this time we have all the black mana, no red mana. <clears throat> but that's okay. Red is more of a splash than black is. Black is more more of our secondary color. I mean, it, it should just be the same as normal sussy nest, as far as I know. Hey, Ray Magnifico. Merry Christmas. So by playing the castle here, that means I'm going to be casting the Murderous Rider. Merry Christmas, Mia. Mia Mia. Alright, so it looks like they have the fight spell, the one mana fight spell. Oh no, Reckless Rage. Reckless Rage makes Shalai worse. I'm glad I took out Shalai. Hmm. They've had just really good cards to match up against me. Which happens. It's not the best auto tapping. It'd have been nice to have a black mana up, you know, like a white black source, but that's okay. Seraph of the scales. Being awesome. The server of the skills has been clutch. <laughs> hey Nick, Merry Christmas. Thanks, Sir Eccles. It's lethal in the air anyway. <clears throat> I was thinking attack with the rider also to to get that extra two life link for the resplendent angel, but it obviously just didn't matter. So I just did anyway. Um
I'm going to keep all these Legion's Ends. I think, especially on the draw, I think I need Legion's End to get rid of their two drops. Like, that game, I was on the play, and so I had a Swift End to get rid of a two drop. Gosh, I, so I like having Legion's End on turn two here, but I don't like... I don't like three five mana cards and two lands. But I really like the Legion's End. And, you know, we have decent mana here. I think I have to mulligan. Uh, nope, not you. That's you. I just have to mulligan, triple five drop. Uh, Gray Merchant, I think. Yeah, I think there's a, a ton of really good stuff for Gray Merchant. Yeah, including like Murderous Rider is just um, an awesome card with that. Man, I wish we had Legion's End right about now. I mean, really, I wish we had more mana. Oh, man. Legion's End would be so good. Wow. Come on. This is crazy. Well, this is a really unfortunate way to lose. We just draw. You know, I kept I kept Seraph Dawnbringer. Our, our four draws were Soren, Doom Whisperer, Lyra. And then Resplendent Angel. We can't cast that either. Ugh. It's a really unfortunate way to lose. <laughs> hey, Errol. Merry Christmas. I would have just kept my seven. Um, I think Xenagos was I think Xenagos was killed last time on Theros. Which is why there's a different red green god. Um I think. I think Zen I think Elspeth killed Xenagos. I don't think the I don't think the new card is busted. I think it's it's gonna be it's gonna be playable. It's gonna be it's gonna be good, but it's not it's not busted. It's not like questing beast good. Looking for something that costs two or three mana. Hey, comics. Merry Christmas. Why? Because I, I have a red shirt. So we got red shirt, green tie. We got our Christmas colors there.
So you think I should have gone green shirt, red tie, so the tie would match the hat? <clears throat> Expensive creatures with no ETB no, effect I am not making this up as I go. are the control player's dream to play against. Which is why we have so much in our sideboard against control. Wow, no lands. That's five spells down to the bottom. That's not good. That means we're probably going to be drawing lands now. That's not good. <laughs> this is a green tie, uh, but yeah, I guess colors for y'all uh, with the with the lighting and everything it kind of changes a lot of times when I, when I wear like a purple shirt or tie or something it'll look blue i guess this look i guess Don't this worry. tie looks blue not green Might be a bad idea. Yeah, I'm telling y'all the color is different for y'all. That I can I can tell. I can tell on the computer screen it looks blue. On here here it looks green. I guess it's just like lighting and stuff. So I don't have any more basics as far as another Settle the Wreckage is concerned. But I do get to shuffle my library if they cast Settle and reshuffle those five spells. All right, so I'll have Doom Whisperer.
be able to help set up my draw steps. I'm not sure how good Kalia is going to be after sideboarding, because you know, I'm probably going to be wanting to take out a lot of the hits for Kalia. Because, you know, these five mana creatures, you know, these four or five mana creatures, like, these, these are not good against control. I mean, I could probably concede this game at any time. All we're doing is just kind of wasting time in life. Because we don't really have any chance of winning this. I've got it. And with control, that is a lot of time. Aw, oh, thank you so much there, Baloney Pony. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Seven here for seven months. Thank you very much, there, Maester. It's our first of the day. Here we go. Oh, maybe we do have a chance to win it. We got two for one with them with the two mystical disputes. You know, they keep playing land drops. They only have three cards in hand. You know, maybe they have like two lands and one other spell. Yuck. So do I mortify the giant or mortify the seal away? Just don't even attack. It's weird. You know you're a control deck when...
Hmm. Boo. I guess that was a bad decision for seal away because they would just bounce giant and recast giant. So I, I should have gone for killing giant, but they countered it anyway. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I don't know why they, they they could have attacked for 14 by now. Shade Fire, what's up? Thanks for getting that Twitch Prime sub in here. Here goes nothing. Yeah, they could have already dealt 14 damage to me with this Realm Cloak Giant. Maybe they don't realize it can attack. Maybe they think it's a wall. We'll get all these duresses, arena, command, thought distortion, grasp, elder spell. All right, the old 12 card sideboard. So, Legion's End, Clarion, Bone Crusher Giant. I might have to just take out Kalia or just realize that Kalia is going to, maybe not, but Kalia is just going to whiff a lot. It's like Lyra Dawnbringer. Let's see. Shalai. I guess Aurelia can give stuff Vigilance, which is good against all these Sealaways. But Lyra being a five mana creature, that, that is the easiest thing to answer. But yeah, Shalai, Aurelia, Resplendent. Like, these aren't amazing. Resplendent can, can be defined because it can be multiple bodies still. And I like three mana creatures because of Soren. Also. So we saw like like big to fairy we have to to dispark. And obviously the seven seven. But we're bringing in grasp. I don't know like how much of that effect we really need. Destroying an enchantment looked pretty valuable. Are we doing on creatures? 17? Yeah, Kali is going to whiff a lot. That's just how it is. Take out one Kalia. Uh, 
Hey, Drug Wizard, Merry Christmas. <clears throat> so I like our post board matchup more, but all we have to do is, you know, like all my opponent needs is just us, you know, either having poor draws one game, you know, like not, not being able to hit land drops kind of thing, or, you know, all they have to do is squeak out one win with them having a really strong hand. This is why even though we had a lot of cards to bring in, this is not not my favorite matchup to face. out five subs I'll protect you. thank you santa drug wizard i appreciate that all right so just gonna play the soren you know we could have a uh, hellkite haste but soren does a great job of picking off to fairy with just that one damage so we're just gonna play the soren here well that bumps us up to seven subs on the day So Welsh Dragon, Magusu, Motor City Ghost, Elgato, Tremendo, and Desol of Apostros. All getting those subs. Awesome. Binding's good. I wish I didn't take out the sparks now. <laughs> I wish this noxious grass was the spark now. Expensive creatures are bad against control, especially against Teferi. I didn't play two Resplendent Angels because I didn't want to extend too much into a, a sweeper, but then this happens. I've got it. I need to be able to kill five mana to fairy with Noxious Grass. There's five mana to fairy. That that thing's much more important to kill than three mana to fairy. We need to move quickly. We got six spells over there. Yeah, I guess no real reason why I didn't play this the second Mindstone that last last turn I could have. Definitely could have. This turn I'm going to be cracking this Mindstone. I'd really like to find Thought Distortion.
But even just one of our four duresses would be nice. Didn't see any of those. So the Command the Dreadhorde will give me their two Teferis. Well, they got this one. Well, if you want the Twitch Prime sub, thank you Don't so worry. much. I got this. Resub in here for three awesome months now. Yeah, they're just looking at their... They're just going to be activating their Field of Ruin. I. We drew our one basic land. So basically nothing's gone well this, this match. It's kind of like last match, where the opponent's cards matched up really well against mine. Try this. Yeah, it's just a display of decadence over there. Why do I have to just draw this planes? There's obviously a, t a ton more cards that I could be ha I could have in my sideboard to be better in this matchup. Obviously, I could add a lot more enchantment removal than what I do, and that kind of stuff. I wasn't really prepared for the the deck full of Sealaways and Ixlon's Binding as far as the control deck goes, but that's how it goes. Hey, Samuel. Come on, command the Dreadhorde. That's our heavy hitter. We brought a 
couple of those in. That'd be a wonderful draw step. Yay! Command the Dread Horde. So one, so three, eight. I might as well just get everything. Get there. Planeswalkers. Seriously? It took you that long to do that? That's a cruel opponent. Just unnecessarily so. gonna move on with life no I have, I have nothing against control players just the phone was just playing unnecessarily slow and then and then that was was very cruel whenever they have like they have a, a just a really great matchup and you know just being just scoreboarding like that is just unnecessary Uh, no T Cowdy, I will not be doing that. Soul Warden. Well, I'm feeling good about this one with having... Uh, With having Clarion, and then a couple of big lifelink angels. Hmm. I don't know what they got over there. I don't want to play Seraph of the Scales before Clarion. I mean, I guess maybe I could if I could just go Seraph into Dawnbringer. Pride Mate's already going to be out of Clarion range now. Alright, maybe that was a mistake to save the Clarion. And I should have just taken the two for one. That was really greedy by me to not play Seraph or Clarion. So if they're sitting back on removal, Seraph is a good card to play at first because I can still get a 1 1 to block with. I did, yeah, I did see the Grey Merchant got reprinted. Oh, I guess I didn't block.
This is the song is called the song is called Cecilia in the Satellite. And it's by Andrew McMahon in the Wilderness. I will take that. All right, that'll do. All right, so more Clarion, more Legion's End. I don't think we need the fourth Clarion. I think three's good into third at Legion's End. And then I was thinking maybe a couple Noxious Grasp. Also, we'll take out the Disparks. And... I'll just take out one each of Doom Whisper and, and Hellkite. Just want to cut a couple of five drops. Uh, Lyra, of course, being our best five drop. Hellkite can machine gun down some smaller creatures. Doom Whisper can surveil and find us better cards. We'll just take out one of each. No, we're we're playing in an angel deck here. Hey, Necrolepsy. Thanks for stopping by. Merry Christmas. Uh, no, all of our decks are... We have... Christmas themed with, with all of them. So, of course, yeah, y'all are saying the Gruul is the only one. You know, Gruul is the green-red for Christmas colors. You know, we have mono white formation because of um, you know the cla the classic. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, so we have our mono white deck. Um, and then this one, you know, we got angels. You know, hark the herald angels sing. We've got our angel deck. <laughs> Have fun, Narcolepsy. Hey, Shock. Merry Christmas. And then the last one we have just my favorite color combination with Selesnia. A lot of my favorite cards with the Legends. So, you know, it's like the, the gift of playing your favorite stuff. All of these Ixalons bindings. Yep, exactly, Xavier. Thoughts on the red green card? Um, I think it's. I don't know. I think it's okay. I think it's gonna, you know, see standard play and everything like that. But I don't think it's. 
Um, you know, I don't, I don't think it's just absolutely amazing and meta warping or anything like that. It's good though. You know, it's not. Some people are saying it's like the new Oko. I mean, it's, not, it's nowhere near as good as Oko. It's not not as good as like Questing Beast, but it's it's fine. Oh yeah, Mindstone always doing work. Man, that card's so good. <laughs> That's good though. Uchi have I'm glad your sister wants to learn how to play magic. But yeah, there is no there is no yellow color in magic. Alright, so to gain five life, we need to tick up Soren, even though I would want to minus and bring back the other resplendent angel, but we tick up, that's one damage. The angel attacks for four. And that's the other that's the other five, and then we would trigger a resplendent angel and get an, a new angel. And we're one and two. The air deck does better against the creature decks, definitely. Hey Rex, yeah, we're doing some historic. Merry Christmas, also. We got two historic decks, so we're gonna be doing first and last. We didn't get to this deck last night with the longer leagues we had, including the three hour league to finish. And doesn't really do anything. All right, let's curve out. Oh my gosh. Wow, thank you so much there, Big Slider. Thank you so, so much. Merry Christmas. That was very, very kind of you. I'm going to just be putting a whole bunch of emotes in the chat. Now, there you go. Thank you, Thank you so much there, Slider. And happy holidays to you as well. So, <clears throat> this could be Nexus. Which would not be good for us. Uh, looks like Nexus. I wish I had that Dispark back. Yep. I need that Dispark. I just put down to the bottom. Oh, yeah. That's a... Yeah, that's amazing. Um, no, I, as far as I know, everything's working. Deck Master, Stream Decker, all that kind of stuff. As far as I know. Yeah, we're playing against Nexus. This this is not a good Nexus deck that I am playing. Obviously. But unlike Control, like I have a lot of stuff in my sideboard against Control. We didn't do a very good job drawing it last time, but I don't really have stuff in my sideboard for Nexus. The main thing is my opponent... Wow. I had to say something. I was going to say they don't have any card 
card draw yet, and that's what I was gonna say was good for us. They didn't have any card draw, but then they, but then Chemistry's Insight changed that. All right, so I'm activating Sarah for the skill, so I don't have to click OK all the time, because it kept on ask, you know, wanting me to click OK to everything, because I had one mana available. So I'm tapping out, so we don't have to do that. Thanks, numbers. All right, Castle of Antris with double reclamation. That's that's over. So yeah, I don't have I don't have stuff here really. Uh, I'm I'm not expecting to win this at all. <clears throat> this is not a matchup I I put in my sideboard at all. I didn't play it against Nexus in like the last 50 matches of Historic that I played. And so I didn't really worry about putting a sideboard for this matchup. So I basically got Duress and that's it. Hey, Beardly. I got Duress and Thought Distortion. So that, I mean, that's the thing. I don't think Nexus is a strong deck in Historic because I think, because Mono Red and. I think it's too slow for Mono Red and Questing Beast. It just, just kills the whole prevent damage thing that it tries to do. Um, you can certainly catch people off guard. Like, my opponent here is catching me off guard. I don't know. Maybe, my, maybe Noxious Grass. Maybe they have Tamiyo. They probably have Tamiyo. These cards are just not very good. Basically all of them. No, probably not J Pixel. Oh really? Maybe I mean maybe. I guess I don't know, maybe. Maybe we'll do something like that. Um, I don't really have a favorite Christmas movie. I, my family was never really like a movie watching type. I never really watched Christmas movies too much. Never been too much of a movie watcher just in general. Yeah, I mean, if, if a lot of people would be interested in me doing a Final Fantasy VII stream, maybe, maybe I will. I don't know. I would like to figure out how to stream... Um, ...my Switch that's on my big TV. That'd be cool to figure out how to, to stream that. But I don't, I don't know how. I need a capture card. So I played the Resplendent Angel so that I would have the mana for Dispark available for Wilderness Reclamation. I just have to hope they don't have another Wilderness Reclamation. 
And I also hope that I draw things that are not lands. Oh, come on. They have another Wilderness Reclamation? They had two Wilderness Reclamations last game. Why do they get another two this game? That's not fair. <clears throat> Alright, well, no duresses, no thought distortion. that I'm not nearly as good as Smash as I used to be. Um, yeah, I played a I played a lot of Smash in, in high school just with friends, you know, not not like competitive or anything, but just with friends. You know, like that was like an after school game that we'd played a lot for the GameCube. I have the new one on the Switch and we realized just like my you know, older mean, you know, my reaction times isn't as good and all that kind of stuff and I'm not as good. I'm not just as used to game like that kind of gaming anymore. I, I haven't played games like that in you know, 15 years. Yes, Denriel. Um, but yeah, I don't have a specific. Yeah, Luigi's Mansion 3. Um, I yeah, I am I'm almost done with Luigi's Mansion 3. I'm on like the very last level right now. I'm about to start the very last level. And then I just gotta go back and pick up some of the gems that I haven't yet. Were y'all saying that Final Fantasy XII was really good? Like, that was after I, I stopped gaming. But I was going to go back and, and play it because it was on sale on the Switch. I was looking at games that were on sale earlier today. Let me aid your research. Twelve is really good. Yeah, the game's over. They they just had an amazing hand there. You know, like they had two wilderness reclamations. Plus everything else. No, I've never played Xenoblade Chronicles. I also wanted to go back and play Final Fantasy VIII again, because I was on the Switch. I I've recently replayed you know, I back whenever they came out, like I played seven, eight, and nine. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. You know, I played those games a lot whenever they were out a long time ago. But recently, in like the last three years, I've replayed seven, I've replayed nine on my phone as like a phone game when I'd like fly, like fly around and stuff. Uh, I'd be uh, playing those games, but they didn't have eight, and so I hadn't replayed eight. But the Switch has eight, so I want to replay eight now because I haven't played eight since since basically it was out. So I don't really remember it too too well. Just guy. <laughs> no, like taking flights to like tournaments and stuff. I cannot fly myself. I'll start with Doom Whisper, where we can uh, surveil 
<clears throat> and find whatever we need. I know my responsibility. I'll protect you. I'm going to take Mortify because this does seem like a Fires of Invention deck. I could be wrong there. But it does feel like that. Yeah, Choco, you can. I've got time. You can see how tough these non creature matchups have been for us, though. And how my opponents. They're not stumbling at all, that's for sure. We've not faced opponents that are struggling whatsoever. I would like to find Soren because, you know, like, Soren ticks up, kills to fairy, so that's convenient. Darn. Two Sorens go down to the bottom. Trust me. I have a plan. Looks like my opponent's playing oh, I uh, my chess guy taking turns deck. <sighs> yeah. Which is definitely a, a very bad matchup for me. It's just a mix of control and nexus. Two things that <laughs> these cards, all these creatures that we've been playing just seem so ridiculous. You know, like, we can't play five mana creatures without ETB effects against these kind of decks. Ugh. We, we did not get... We did not get good pairings. I do like that Shalai doesn't die to Clarion. Yeah, where were all the red decks and the Gruul decks? The other day, whenever we were playing Jeskai, we kept on facing Gruul. Where, where's all the Gruul? Where five mana five fives and six sixes are important. I'm just pretty tired of playing this deck against these other decks, honestly. I need, like... We need, like, four Thought Distortions in the sideboard, not one. Hmm. 
basically kind of taking out some stuff that just always dies to to Clarion. I wish we had a million disenchants. We just keep on playing against decks that are full of enchantments. What kind of hand is this? There we The problem with keeping, uh, or with going like this, we don't have two, uh, that's fine. We don't have two black for our six mana cards that are really important. Oh, I forgot we have arena also that's two black. Man, nothing, nothing's going our way here, Hawkeye, nothing. Got the black source. Ooh, yay. So even though they could have three mana to ferry for the arena, the most important thing obviously they do. Right on so that's that's the best thing to have. Most important thing is is getting rid of um, fires or big to fairy or Karn, and so that's why I'm saving. I want to save the, the duress. I want to be able to play it right before turn four. No, I am not making this up as I go. Two Karns. Narset, Narset shuts down Arena. But Karn's just gonna kill me. You should fear those four eyes, and I am whole. I need for blood. I have faced what you made. Yay. We're still in a really rough spot. You know, like we have an arena and a soren against seven cards. I guess we have a Noxious Grass also, so I mean, we got a little bit, but very rough spot. You could use some training. So I don't draw another card with Arena if they keep Narset in play. They may minus Narset though. Yay. Hone your prowess. If you show remorse, <laughs> the goo. 
I'll show the Thanks for the bit. You need to slow down. That was not a very good turn by my opponent there. I will have they, Teferi just needs to be ticking up. Soren isn't that valuable to Tuck. Like, really, they should just keep Narset in play. Not minus Narset. And not Tuck Soren. And just tick up Teferi. Teferi should mostly be ticking up. Splendid Angel this is going to be a little difficult. To get through against these Clarions. Definitely want to keep our life total high because of Phyrexian Arena. We're just hoping they don't draw Planeswalkers. That's probably bad. Okay, that's good. I am all I need Planeswalker removal. Definitely need that. Never play a Planeswalker and then don't activate it right away. You have to activate your Planeswalker right away. Whenever you play it. So that will allow them to be scrying with Castle Vantress while still being able to play multiple stuff a turn. But we do have, you know, like we have the Afrexine Arena. So, you know, like we're drawing two cards a turn, which has been really important for us keeping up with cards.
So I could have waited to see if they like upkeep scry because they put two cards down to the bottom. So if they like upkeep scryed and then destroy the fires, but I'm just gonna destroy the fires. Yeah, the mastery pass is usually worth paying, if, especially if you get, you know, like if you're getting close to like level 100, it's probably worth paying for. You get a whole lot of stuff. I guess maybe I should play the Doom Whisperer to just surveil since we have lots and lots of life. I could just surveil a long ways through the library. Sorry, so they need to... Alright, I was going to say like, they need to take up and, and find Nexus. I, I'm pretty sure they have to have to just tick up. The weak feed the strong. You know, they obviously like lose for a lot of ways, but I, I think that's a, a spot. Like I don't think the tuck helps you win at all. Yeah, yeah. If you're only like level nine right now, yeah, just wait, wait for the next set, because it's, it's only going to be around for, like it. They last for each set, and the next set comes out in you know like less than a month now, just a couple of weeks. So yeah, don't don't buy it. Wait for the next one. All right, Hawkeye, we won a game. Nothing rotates out with the new set. Rotation only happens once a year in the fall. It's a rotation is just a once a year thing where four sets rotate out like, you know, like a year's where the sets rotate out. So the next, next three sets, you don't have to worry about rotation at all. <laughs> now this is a cat. Kind of looks like a tiger. Oh, hey, catty. Well, GG's. All that water. You want some water? <laughs> Hawkeye wishes he was a Johnny. Yeah, Ravnica, Guild, Spark, and Core 2020. Those are the things that will rotate next fall. He's doing good. He's doing better than yesterday. He took some some more of the medicine this morning. He ate a little bit last night. He ate a little bit during stream, and then then he ate a little bit last night, and ate a little bit more this morning. So not perfect yet, but he's doing better. So, of course, we're putting back a Sacred Foundry. Keeping both black sources. Pretty obvious there. Thought Distortion, my best card. 
Now we gotta get, now we gotta get the mana. Um. Ascanta's awesome. All right, we need to draw two more lands. That's not land. You draw two more lands. Land. No. It's not land either. Like, if I play Resplendent Angel, they just get to Prison Realm, Resplendent Angel. And, like, I don't... You know, like, that doesn't really help me. My opponent gets to scry. Yay. That resolved. But if I just wait and I thought distortion away the prison realm first, that's better for me. Land? Yay. So Thought Distortion can't be countered, and it exiles their entire hand. They had two Nexuses? Oh my gosh. Wow, Thought Distortion got rid of two nex Nexuses? That's crazy. Yeah, we need like more of those in the sideboard. Absorb. Absorb. We're basically building an army that we don't need to commit more cards out in case of Sweeper. There was Sweeper. That's fine. Attack. <clears throat> so I, I have lethal in the air this next turn. Probably do better than that. I'd say that's better than that. Okay, finishes it. All right, two and three. We dropped it down quite a bit going two and three. Each loss, we lost 2%. Each win, we only gained 1%. So it dropped down quite a bit at the percentages for just going two and three. Basically lost 3% because we started, started a ranked number. Now we're down to 97%. So that's unfortunate. But all right. Um, 
Yeah, so Mardu, so Mardu Kalia, this kind of deck, you really want to face, you know, aggro decks. If you're facing a lot of red um, and a lot of gruel and stuff like that, a lot of creature decks, that's what this deck is is really designed to beat. As you can see there, we have some good stuff uh, after sideboard against control. Phyrexian Arena looked really good. Um, obviously, the four duress, if you if you get the duresses, the duresses were pretty clutch. Like that that um, that third game, duressing away Search for Escanta. You know, like Search for Escanta would have taken over if we didn't. Um, but then Command the Dread Horde and Thought Distortion both looked awesome in the sideboard also. Especially that Thought Distortion, man. That was that was a pretty crazy Thought Distortion. Um, well, there we go. Lots of life gain in here with Soren, Resplendent Angel, Lyra. Mindstone was just awesome, of course. Mindstone is just such a good quality card. It's kind of just like the perfect card, uh, the perfect two drop for this deck. You know, before we played like, you know, crappy two drops like Tithe Taker, and you, know, you could have like Charming Prince or just other things, Adanto Vanguard. You know, like there's just Mindstone is just the the perfect two drop. All right, uh, Mardu Kalia, that's our first Christmas deck for today. Those of y'all on YouTube, um, one, ha have a happy holidays, of course. Also, hope you hit that like button over there, and feel free to leave comments. Appreciate all of that stuff. But thanks so much for watching some Mardu Kalia, and I'll see you for the next video.